In 2008, Dutch microbiologist John van der Oost found out exactly how CRISPR-Cas9 systems interfered with the invading bacteriophage. He demonstrated that phage-derived E. coli spacer sequences are transcribed into small RNAs, called CRISPR RNAs, or CCR RNAs, that guide Cas proteins to the target DNA. That same year, Argentinian microbiologist Luciano Marafini and Eric Sontheimer of the University of Massachusetts Medical School demonstrated that the molecular target of CRISPR interference is DNA rather than RNA. Marafini and Sontheimer suggested that the CRISPR system could be a powerful tool if it were able to be transferred to non-bacterial systems. In 2010, Canadian microbiologist Sylvain Monod demonstrated that CRISPR-Cas9 creates double-strand breaks in the target DNA at precise positions, three nucleotides upstream of the PAM site. He also observed that Cas9 is the only protein required for the cleavage in the CRISPR-Cas9 system. Between 2011 and 2012, Lithuanian biochemist Virginius Shiksnys cloned the entire CRISPR-Cas locus from S. vermeophilus and expressed it in E. coli, demonstrating that it was capable of providing plasmid resistance. This suggested that CRISPR systems were self-contained units. He characterized Cas9's mode of action and revealed that Cas9 could be reprogrammed to target a site of choice by changing the CRISPR RNA sequence. In 2012, science's famous and highly respected team of Emmanuel Champentier and Jennifer Doudna reported that CRISPR RNA and tracer RNA, a small RNA that Champentier's team identified, could be fused together to form a single synthetic guide, simplifying the CRISPR-Cas9 system. Their next achievement was to make the system work in solution, so that the CRISPR-Cas9 system was no longer restricted to bacteria. Additionally, they found that the guide RNA sequence could be altered to direct Cas9 to a specific DNA sequence. In 2014, Feng Shang was the first researcher to successfully adapt CRISPR-Cas9 for genome editing in eukaryotic cells. He engineered two different Cas9 orthologs from S. thermophilus and S. pyogenes and performed targeted genome cleavage in human and mouse cells. Charpentier and Doudna have made history with their revolutionary contribution to gene editing, having deservedly won the 2020 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for their efforts. At the same time, it's important to recognize the notable contributions by many other scientists to our understanding of gene editing, starting in 1992 with Francisco Mejica at the University of Alicante, whose years of unwavering study of bacterial spacer sequences helped us advance much more rapidly towards our ability to now edit genes with remarkable precision. Thanks to the groundbreaking contributions of scientists, from Mejica to Champentier and Doudna, and the many others along the way, Gene editing now offers significant promise in the effort to understand and treat human disease.